Hi everybody, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. Okay, so I took a little mini break. Um, I take a lot of them, but today was, I needed a break for a couple days. Um, so, unfortunately, one of my Facebook accounts got hit, but I always make new ones. So, whoever's trying to post block me, unfortunately, it's hater season, Mercury retrograde. Not really working out. But anyway, I've come to do readings for the water sign because I didn't get you guys. I forgot Gemini too, but there's a reason why I haven't done Gemini yet. I'll get to Gemini last, probably. Before I get to my November. Alright, guys, this is Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. If you guys want to check out my other videos for your moon and rising signs, please do so because I would like really, really like to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below. I really appreciate you guys leaving comments. It's very, very beneficial. So I thank you guys for love and support. Okay, so let's look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, it's already talking. I feel compelled to do a reading today. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles and Four of Wands. Somebody couldn't wait to tell me. Oh, yes, yes, I'm working on a relationship. Eight of Pentacles could be about um, Sun and Virgo, a good, stable working environment. Um, this person is working hard, even if they're not being seen or they're not being admired or are honored for their work. They know that the work they're putting out is better than any paycheck they can ever get. Eight of Pentacles could be Sun and Virgo. You could be actually dealing with the Virgo Scorpio. Um, but it seems like you're working really, really hard to get someone, even if people don't see you. The Four of Wands is about um, a relationship or a commitment. Maybe you're working to get a home. Maybe you're putting in the money to um, definitely expand your house. Um, you could be shacking up or getting in a relationship with the Virgo um, or a fire sign. But I do see two of swords, ten of pentacles, and a title card. Um, that can be about decision on where you want to buy your house if you're looking for a home. It could be about two of swords, ten of pentacles can be a decision about money, where to invest your money, family wealth, or expansion. Um, ten of pentacles and two of swords can also be about how to implement a relationship with the with this Virgo. Um, how things are going to work out. I do see the ten of swords, uh, I'm sorry, my nail broke, y'all. Anyway, two of swords could be about decisions about money. And um, it could be decisions about a title. Maybe you want, maybe you don't know how to implement this to get what you want, your full 10 and your title. What is the two of swords doing here in this Scorpio reading for the end of October? The Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Strip Card. This could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, but this is about a person who's very materialistic or they're um, exhausted or they overspend. Um, this can also be a stalemate to a sword between you and this person. Um, Ten of Wands can be about burdens, people that carry a lot of things on their shoulders. Maybe you feel like your decision to um, have that perfect 10 family-wise, work-wise, to get the title that you want has to do with you having enough energy. Uh, maybe you're burnt out, lack of inspiration. Um, the Queen of Pentacles could be your indulgent nature. You see all those diamonds she has on? She could really sell all those if she was really in a financial bind. Um, maybe you're trying to find out the best way, again, to make your eight ten, And um, you could really use a budget. Um, the Strength card is about a person who's trying to hide their feelings or hide, uh, try to pretend that everything's great and it's not. Um, the strength card can be about a person who they're trying to maintain strength or they're trying to gain strength. Um, the strength card can also be about um, someone that's using brutal force to, to obtain something that they really want. And it might not go in their favor. Uh, it's a lot of work to get that ten of pentacles. Someone is fighting really hard to get this. And they're just really like gung-ho about it. What is the strength card reversed in the four of wands for Scorpio? Okay, let's do that up. The pay, uh, ace of wands and the knight of rods, okay? The ace of rods can be sex. It could be romantic offers. It can be a new beginning that you feel charged and, and, and inspired passionately. The knight of rods can be timid. Someone is timid 
or someone is not very decisive on what they really want. Uh, what is the Knight of Rise of Earth? Okay, Three of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody is dragging their feet about a relationship and it ends up being a third party feel or vibe to it. And here you are, Queen of Pentacles or Queen of Cups, I'm sorry. A person who just wants what she wants, she can't help but not go after it. And sometimes she doesn't mentally be in the right mindset. She lives with her emotions. She leaves with her emotions. She can become very indiscriminatory. Like, she doesn't really see what's going on. She only sees what she sees. And anything else, it's just, it doesn't exist. It's like a person who lives in a constant state of make-believe. The Knight of Swords is about fighting, arguments, drama, a war path, and the will of fortune. So this person just, they want what they want. They don't care how they interrupt your life. They just want to get what they got to get. Um, even though you may, you may be timid or or it could be someone else timid, because the cross watcher could apply either way. Um, someone is very like, yeah, someone is, someone is timid, dragging their feet about a relationship and... This queen of cups, it could be you. You just like, I don't give a fuck who's in the way. I'm going to get what I want. And that may not be the best thing. Uh, what's sticking out of my deck is the three of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the four of swords. It's really about taking the time out to build the perfect relationship, maybe being alone and enjoying that alone time. Four of swords about carving time out. All your efforts are not necessarily in vain, but they're making you sick or they're getting redundant. So maybe you should reprioritize. I don't see ten of wands in verse. I do see ten of wands upright. So the way you're doing things is is exhausting you. Um, what is the ten of pentacles, ten of wands? What is the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands? What is that ten of pentacles and that ten of wands? And you got well, the knight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles in verse. Okay, so. Um, maybe somebody is not giving you an offer, or maybe somebody uh, is very materialistic, or someone is broke financially, or they have a lot of rose-colored glasses, they don't know what they want. The Knight of Pentacles moves slow, so maybe he's taking his time to ma make money, or this could be a slow-moving job. Maybe, again, if you're trying to find an opportunity, it's not romance. It does seem like Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. You have a lot of family you remember you're taking care of. The money is not coming in quick enough or it's not enough money. And the Knight of Pentacles is about a person who needs to, they have a stable offer, but the title, um, it's going to take a while. Um, let's see here. What is the Ace of Pentacles in verse? Okay, so the sun could be a loss or an actual boy. Uh, this could be immaturity, a person who just scales down their expenditures. Maybe you feel like um, the offers that you get are not financially sustainable because you keep spending more than what you have. Um, or it, it could also talk about a person who you need to let go of because they're actually depleting you. If they don't have enough money and you want to be with them, they might actually drag you down financially because, I mean, you may want something, but again, the Queen of Pentacles is reversed. I mean, she, her... Her lavish lifestyle is not, your queen of cups, you're indiscriminatory. You don't see things the way it should be. Two queens could be a fight between two women. Um, oh, I see two knights. I don't see any kings, so oh, three knights. So three knights can definitely be powerful messages for um, young men getting together to form a brotherhood. But I just see that you're, you're a queen fighting over a younger man who doesn't have anything he needs together. He's just basically... Um, you're you're a queen. You're a, supposed to look for a king, and you you keep falling for night. Let's see. Why is the queen of cups reversed? That's what I want to know. Why is the queen of cups reversed? Uh -oh. You could also be trying to um, decide what kind of business you want to get into. Maybe you're dragging your feet about a new business venture with the eight of pentacles, the four of wands. Uh, Ace of Wands, you want to go for it, but you're timid about the new beginnings. You don't want to spend too much money, and you really want everything to work out, but you don't want to muscle ahead. Your decision is about the way you spend your money, if it's going to bring in a lot of money, or if you're going to lose money. You know, you could be just going after things without even thinking about the outcome, Scorpio. Um, in order for you to build, you must make that money, but in, for, in order for you to become more stable, you must take time out to think about where you're going. Um, why is Queen of Cups reversed? Why is our Queen of Cups reversed? Oh, you want to take me all these cards. No, no, no. No, no. Can't do that. Can't have that. 
what is the Queen of Cups doing? What is that Queen of Cups doing in her inverted stage? Queen of Cups reverse. Okay. And this one too. Ooh, that side message. Um, the Six of Wands and the Page of Swords. So you want to advance. You want victory. You see it. You fall for it, and here you are. But the page of swords says the way you're going about it, all these quick ass like moves and methods to get this stuff accomplished, is not working out in your favor whatsoever. Oh, hold on, I got some cards. Okay, so and another thing too, I'm gonna tell you what else I see. Four cards look out to me. Um, this title card, this paperwork card. Maybe somebody's worried about their child support or worried about a contract or worried about some type of title. Maybe it's an unofficial title. Maybe you guys are going to court and it's kind of like an arbitrary thing where you guys are talking back and forth. But if someone is worried or not sleeping, they're losing sleep. An offer from the Queen of Wands could be about an ultimatum. Queen of Wands is very attractive. I don't know why she'd want to get to an ultimatum, but someone's worried about the connection with someone else. Maybe a knight, a cup. Could be about a love offer. Maybe someone's worried about the commitment between this person and they're trying to make it smooth to where they're not committal to anyone and just kind of doing their own thing. It seems like to justify or pacify another person, but eventually, you know, it seems like this person's going after what they want and you might not even get. I know you'd be wrong. Um, I'll look into the, the Six of Pentacles and Nine of Cups, but. Um, the Queen of Cups, this is her wish. She wants money and, and fulfillment. Let's see, will she get it? Um, she's trying to. The Seven of Pentacles and King of Swords. She's trying to build. And the King of Swords is kind of impartial. I mean, he's putting in the effort and the, the follow-through. But the King of Swords is not really an emotional person. So... He's, he's putting in the work. A lot of pentacles. It could be air, um, air, earth. But I just feel like seven years or seven months. He's been putting in the effort. He he doesn't really know. It's taking a long time to speed up. So maybe he just kind of got his hand out right now. He's taking money or donations. Maybe you're giving him donations, Scorpio. Hope not. I'm getting paid for that girl. Um, Nine of Cups can be about a wish. So he just only wants your money. Seems like a very selfish person. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's wrap this reading up. Because that's crazy, Tales Scorpio. Let's find out. You up here being a sugar mama and shit. Sugar mama Scorpio. Worried about another motherfucker. Alright, let's get into all things intuitive. Our love portion for the reading. You know what kind of love, baby. What we got from Scorpio? Sun, moon, and rising. Uh marriage somebody wants to get married someone is very serious about marriage they want to move towards a very sacred union they want to be vulnerable they want apologies they want um they want to make up for all the time missed um second chance can be about a person who wants um, another chance in a relationship maybe they feel they found that they spent a lot of time away from some things and they know what they want now and they want to come back to you and let's see uh-oh. Somebody's business card trying to get in over that. No, no. Anything else? Scorpio? Oh, this one came out first. Chemistry. Okay, so maybe you feel like this person, you have chemistry. Go slow. It says to go slow at the bottom of the deck is rekindle passion. So someone is definitely trying to get back with someone else. Someone is definitely trying to make a relationship work with someone else. Um, it's really up to the person you're investing in. If they're not trying to give you anything, but they're trying to take from you, then you know the answer. Because Scorpio is real fixed. When they love somebody, it don't matter if this person is screwing them over, and they got a gun to their head, they're ready to pull the trigger. They they love this person. They're going to... They gonna, and Scorpio loves death and morbid bullshit anyway. They're going to like, pull the trigger. I can't wait. And it's like you're dead, though. So now that you're dead, and this person killed you, and they destroyed you, like, and then you are the queen of you know, uh, a queen or, you know, king of, you know, transitions, I'm like, damn, like, the person gotta blow your fucking head off for you to get the message? I hope not. But anyway, so, um, 
I would really, Scorpio, I really wouldn't do that. Like, this chemistry, it's going to go smoothly, you know? Go slow. Don't, don't feel stuck or pressure into anything. You might regret it. Um, you keep trying to go to marriage, make sure the person that you are trying to marry is trying to marry you. Okay? Alright, thank you so much for joining me, Scorpio. Um, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave comments below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.